Hello everybody. This is Hetu here and uh, I wish you all a very happy new year. And uh, as usual, I have come up with this year as well with the plans for 2025 for all of you, right? And uh, I wish you all a very good luck for this complete year, the new year. And you spent this year very wisely, very efficiently so that you can progress very fast in your career, all right? And I also wish you a lot of good luck for all the aspects, other aspects of your life, okay? So with this intent, uh, I have come up with this plan basically. Um, this is what every year I do. This is my moral responsibility for all of you to provide as a community, right? So this is my guidance also. So uh, that is the reason I have come up with this. And uh, yeah, so let's start basically. So what I have done is I have actually uh, based on current trend right now, what how it is looking like the current job market, etc. So this is video very relevant for 2025. Okay. And then obviously next year again, we will come up with something else. But this is actually relevant for 2025 as we start the year. Okay. So uh, these plans actually are the step by step plan basically. Just follow the step by step and you will be actually able to gain a lot of insights from this complete video. Okay. And uh, I hope that you implement it and you also comment it once you achieve your career goal. All right. So this is very important. You are looking, watching this video today, but once you actually achieve your career goal, please come back and say that, yes, I achieved my career goal. That will give me a lot of motivation to me as well. All right. So, and even if you have actually achieved the last year career goal, that also you can comment it. So that, uh, that also gives a lot of encouragement to other people as well. I try to give you the best suggestion that I can give this on my ability, my qualification, right? So this is what I have come up with here. Okay. So let's move with uh, step by step. We will go with the manual career path and then automation career path later on. All right. So one by one. So let's move actually further. So let me put something like this. All right. So Mission 25 career plan for manual ETL QA engineers. Guys, so this is basically applicable to whom? So there are target audience or target people who should actually looking for this manual ETL testing. Okay. So manual test engineers who are either working as a functional test engineers or manual testers. We also call the web, web manual web engineer, web testing engineer, support engineers, for example, production support engineer or maybe the technical support engineer who are actually not very core into the tech part. So they can also actually transition here. Then developers from any domain guys, okay. Any um, uh, development engineers can actually come here. And then non-IT professional. And here specifically non-IT professional, when I talk about it, they should be actually willing to spend a lot of time basically because they do not have any IT experience. So it will be a little bit extra learning curve for them. All right. Now the last audience is basically the freshers like people who actually just completed their uh, degree and they want to actually uh, move ahead with the manual ETL Q engineers path basically. So this is the tar target audience. Okay. Now let's look at basically the qualification requirement that I assume. Okay. I'm not just saying that these are the only qualification for the people who will get job, but this is the best fit qualification that people should be basically looking for. So if you have any of this basically uh, qualification, then you are actually fit for manual QA engineers. Okay. So three years degree in computer science are related to computer science, IT or anything. So this is basically uh, that is like BSc, Bachelor of Science, IT or computer or BCA, Bachelor of Computer Application. So this is basically one set of people and second set of people are basically engineering any any stream engineering right it can be computer science it mechanical electrical triple e whatever right so this is actually relevant for them and uh, also the masters in computer science are related stream basically so you can see msc it computers msc mca mcm also is there somewhere and uh, mtech b btech any stream so this is these are the people um, who are possess these degrees or this qualification they can actually look for the career path into this, right? I will not recommend for the people like uh, Bachelor of Arts or, you know, BCom people because for them, the learning path will be much and uh, also 
it is uh, not very relevant for them basically it career right so that's the reason i will stick to this qualification and uh, what i have seen in the industry like at least they need this kind of degrees basically right the relevance of the field basically isn't it so that is the reason these are the qualifications if you have this qualification you are fit for actually learning the manual testing etl qa and then you can actually progress all right so let's look at what exactly you need to do right from your side so set realistic learning plan yeah so this is very very important this is basically the goal setting right so you four you keep three to four months of learning plan based on your learning ability okay so minimum i would say three months it is really required because a lot of things you need to cover here right so you see this is the sequence that i have covered isn't it sql linux etl testing data warehousing informatica uh, you can learn any other tools if you have, but Informatica is much preferred, okay? And now software testing, if you are not coming from, you are, let, let's say, coming from non-IT or fresher, people who are already working into software testing, they don't need to basically uh, learn this part. But uh, for the people who are not actually from the IT, like not from the software testing background, okay? And then Python, this is optional, guys, okay? So this too can be optional for the people who are already testing and uh, other for other people, last one is the only optional. Other modules are mandatory, okay? So three to few, four months of career plan, you keep it. And then you put your all the efforts, okay? And keep learning the things. What I will do is, from my side, in the description of this video, I will give you the playlist that I have created, okay? On my channel, I'll give you the playlist you can go one by one, okay, and go in this uh, sequence, all right? So you learn first SQL, complete SQL you learn, and then after that you learn Linux, and a lot of things are there basically. So one by one you go. Don't actually learn together, okay? This will be very difficult for you to digest. So go one by one. So one com complete, complete subject if you learn, and then practice everything, then you move to the next actually. So something like that. Just follow this sequence basically one by one from top to bottom, okay? And then I'll give you the playlist in the description of the video so you can actually look at it, okay? One by one. You can just explore those playlists and go one by one. This is good enough, basically, okay? All right. Now, let's move to the career path, how to learn it, basically. Yeah? So that is what I said, right? So check out the description of this video for a step-by-step -step learning guidelines, okay? I'll just post it here. So you just go and explore that, okay? Now, mission... 2025 for automation or SDET, software developer in test, right? So we also call as automation engineer as a development engineer in test basically, right? So it's basically because you are good at writing the code, you actually write the code. That's why you are actually development engineer in test or just the thing is you're writing the code for testing the things, yeah? So uh, this is the thing, right? So now the target audience, if you look at it, manual test engineers, right? So this is again valid like if somebody is already working into manual test engineer you should be actually able to move into automation you don't really need to go and learn everything about etl manual part basically okay and then uh, support engineers obviously developers from any any domain non-it professional and willing to dedicate efforts okay and for them uh, basically they have to learn something extra isn't it like the testing part, etc., that you have to learn extra. But yeah, I mean, uh, it is not recommended for fresher, as I said, because you need to actually, freshers do not understand basically, right? So it is very relevant for all this set of people and they can, whoever is having this, they can actually come. Now, coming to the qualification, I will keep the same qualification as it is for the, uh, the manual test engineers, basically, Q engineers. It is the same qualification. Now, I'll move to the topics that you need to do, what exactly you need to do basically, right? So this is what I said. So set a realistic learning plan to two and two and a half months plan actually. It will be a little shorter given you are actually learning the ETL automation, okay? Automation testing, isn't it? So you don't really need to go much deeper into manual part of it. That's why you actually save a lot of time here basically, right? And uh, what I would say is, these are the things that you need to learn basically, SQL, ETL testing and not a lot of SQL basically because you are applying for the automation. People will not expect you to have a very, very, uh, um, I mean, um, like advanced level of SQL basically. They expect you to write uh, at least the intermediate uh, level of SQL queries and they are good with it. They want to test your automation skill basically. That is the reason you're learning for SQL, ETL testing. Uh, these two modules at least will be very, very shallow. It will not be very, very deep basically. Okay, so that is the reason 
learning time will be little lower, slower here. I mean lesser here. And then we have to learn one language that is Python because Python is the demand for the other trained in the industry today. That is the reason you need to learn the Python. And then you have to learn some other libraries that you can integrate in the Python like Pandas, PyTest, and other Python libraries basically. Okay. Then you also need to learn the version control Git repository. Okay. Git. Uh, uh, git, um, uh, you know, version control system you need to learn because you, as an automation tester, you always go ahead and you use the git basically, okay, all the time basically when you work on the automation code, right? So, this is important. And then, test automation procedure is step by step. This is very important, basically. See, you can learn, you can learn the things like uh, you can learn the things from here and there, but you don't really know how in the real time things work, right? And that is the reason you need to learn step by step guidance, actually one by one, and what exactly comes after what. So this is very important. Test automation proce procedure, you need to learn how to actually write the test cases, what are the prerequisites, how to actually, what kind of framework we should use, how it basically creates the different uh, reporting etc all these things because that is part of your test automation right so after learning all these things you will go for this and then finally you also need to have a test automation framework that will give you a lot of different component right because test automation framework is something that you can actually reuse it in multiple projects as well right because once you build it it should be scalable it should be also kind of um, um, easily configurable or changeable in, you can accommodate new test cases, etc. So the test automation framework that is the core and crux, entire crux of this particular uh, automation uh, career path. Okay, so you should be very good at here, and you should actually do some sort of real time project, basically how the things works entirely end to end, basically, right? And uh, obviously, a lot of things, other things you need to learn, like how to actually uh, use the GitHub put your code onto GitHub repository and then also uh, how to actually use the CI CD pipeline for, you know, running the jobs and uh, kicking, uh, uh, checking the reports, etc. All these things you need to learn here basically, okay. So for this guys, I have basically very interesting, uh, what you say, the plan basically, okay. So I have basically, uh, uh, you can actually for this right how to learn it you can actually fill the google form that is again there in the description of this particular video and you can actually attend a free demo session right where you can actually know and you can clarify all these things you can actually see what all the things will be covered in detail about this particular entire automation course and this is just to shorten your journey okay otherwise if you learn by yourself there is no guarantee even if you be to learn it by in one year also right and one here is a big time frame people don't have motivation even right so that is the reason i have come up with this very good plan actually if you want to explore this and learn it and then you can actually just fill the google form and then rest will be taken care so upcoming batch whenever the new batch will be announced you can actually get the notification and you can attend a free demo session to ensure that um, this is relevant for you basically okay so this is uh, about this and then final step guys it is applicable for both of them once you learn this manual or automation right this, both this so whatever i have given the guidelines now based on this you can actually apply for the resume preparation and job job applications right prepare your cv resume as per market trend because you need to research a little bit actually what's happening right now what kind of topic they are actually looking for what kind of things market is expecting from you to know <coughs> all right then you actually prepare your cv resume okay and then create a profile on multiple job uh, portals are there go there and create your profile very interesting profile and put all these keywords and everything upload your cv okay and uh, start then you actually start getting interview calls right and it is also very important that there should be somebody to handhold you because when you go for interview sometime you might face some interviews which you don't really know the answer it is very important that when you face those interviews in first interview you are ready for the next interview if the same uh, questions are asked you should be able to answer it 100 percent that is how you prepare basically okay so this is the entire plan for 2025 and i expect people all of you basically who are if you're watching it i'm sure that you are actually looking for either career progression or switching the job 
or you are into working into some different domain, you want to move into uh, uh, basically ETL testing manual or automation, definitely you have the aspirations, right? So you basically um, kind of uh, prepare it, follow these guidelines. And uh, yeah, I think this is what I can give you from my side. Okay, and this is the best thing, best thing you can uh, do it for. So because this is actually step by step that you can learn everything and actually move ahead with your career. And I, I wish you all the best luck. And also, as I said, once you're actually able to career achieve your career goal, don't forget to come and express your, uh, you know, um, express your gratitude here right obviously because uh, you have been able to transform that will give you a lot of encouragement to other people also on the channel right and the whole channel that uh, you remember right this is built to help the people actually right and little bit contribution from my side that i can do but it makes sense basically to handhold yourself and then give you some guidelines how to do actually right so this is the plan and do check out the the full detailed uh, plan in the description of this video and also comment how did you like this video guys all right so with this um, uh, good wishes i will end this video here and i'll see you soon with the next videos and i plan to actually do a lot more in this year basically last year i couldn't um, uh, dedicate a lot of time basically uh, but this year i plan to do a lot okay so i hope that um, this was very informative for all of you and uh, I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, happy learning. God bless you.